Leroy. About 8.30 this morning, we crossed over the 80th meridian, left Baffin Bay behind us, entered Lancaster Sound, and officially entered the Northwest Passage. The passage has been like an Arctic rail for centuries now. Man's been trying to find a shortcut between the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean, and hundreds of lives have been lost trying to find it. Almost as many ships have been lost. And finally, in 1903, Roald Anmason found the way through. He was the first guy to make it through. Since then, a handful of ships have made it. Some successfully, some in one year, some in several years, but we were greeted. We had an official greeting party. We had six orcas tagging along for a while with us. We couldn't get too close to them. They're very shy, but dangerous creatures. Then we came further into land, and to our great delight, we saw not one, but six polar bears. Two of them, we think, were cubs. Uh, we followed them for a while. They looked at us suspiciously and definitely sent us a few further yards offshore. Right now, we're coming in close on one of the many glaciers you'd find here in the passage. Uh, the land's going to start to flatten out the further south we get. It took us six and a half weeks to get here from Newport, Rhode Island. We're going to be here for about three or four weeks, uh, uncovering a lot of history of the passage and hopefully a lot more wildlife. So this is the first day, and we're mighty glad to be here. Two days ago, we sailed into Beachy Island, and we we're anchored out here in the bay. Uh, Beachy is pretty historic in the fact that in the 1850s, this is where the Franklin Expedition wintered for two long winters. They got frozen in. You can see by the graves behind me, some of them didn't make it. Three of the headstones here are marking where some of the crew is buried. Beachy Island is probably the most historic place in the Northwest Passage. It's, uh, if the Northwest Passage is defined by John Franklin, uh, the expedition to find the Northwest Passage in the 1850s. This was the last area Franklin was ever seen alive. This place is surreal. I don't think there's any other word for it. It's like, uh, it's like the backside of the moon. It's like Mars. It's like somebody flooded the Grand Canyon. 